Hey, welcome back to the Sonic 2 LP. This is part 4 of Casino Night Zone. I don't really like it that much. It's just kind of eh. Just started already. Okay, so it's Casino Night Zone. I don't think I would call it a spiritual successor to Spring Yard. They, they look nothing alike, but this in common with Spring Yard Zone, this zone has a lot of bumpers everywhere. I don't necessarily hate that, it's just kind of tedious, like when you're trying to make progress, but you can't, because the fucking bumpers just bounce you around everywhere you don't want to go. I have stuff to show that off a couple of times, but it's not the biggest of problems. Oh yeah, and I found like four speed shoes monitors on this playthrough. I mean, not this playthrough, I mean this zone. But whatevs. See now, I'm just trucking along, and now the fucking bumpers are giving me a hell of a time. Like, I'm just trying to get up there and it's put me back down. I can't go up. I'm just trying to make progress, but I can't. Because the stupid fucking bumpers and the flippers are just giving me hell. Eventually get my ass up there. Continue with the zone. Go down here. For no reason, I just went down there just cause. Just bouncing all around. This point generator thing here. It's kind of fucking useless actually. It gives you like 800 points or something. It's not really that many. These bouncer spring things, I kind of like them. I mean, they give you a lot of speed. And the bumpers are giving me some more hell right here. I go through all these. I don't really mind the elevators that much, I mean, they're fine, they're not the worst thing ever. So right now we're coming up on the end of Act 1, Casino Night Zone, I don't really find the zone that hard. It's not really centered around badniks and stuff, it's more centered around like all the bumpers and stuff that bounce you around everywhere and the slot machines and stuff. I don't actually go in the slot machines that much in this playthrough. So we're on to Act 2 now. And this is the time that I see this bad neck. He's fine. I, mean, I don't think I can hurt him or him he can hurt me. He's just kind of there minding his own business. We're really fast again with the speed shoes. Just kind of go back down there. I kind of want that invincibility, but then I don't want it. I kind of don't really need it anyway. Another speed shoes monitor. And the slot machine. I think it's the first time I've seen it right here. I want to go in it, but then I kind of don't want to go in it, but I get in there once. It's just kind of a pain in the ass for me to get in there, but I eventually get my ass in there. And I get three rings. If you get three rings there, you get ten rings. That's really all I know about it, because I never really care shit enough to really habitually go in there. What I do know is if you get three Robotniks, you lose 100 rings. So that is probably why. You think you're gonna get crushed here, but it doesn't go out that far, thank god. Just more fucking around with the bumpers and I get in here again. I win nothing! Fuck you! That's kind of at odds, really. So we're coming up on the end now. I kinda don't really know what to do at first, but then I just figure out that you just that you miss that and then you can go in there. More elevators and stuff, yes, nothing really happening, nothing really to say. So 
just a little bit more fucking around. Oh yeah, the special stage. This special stage. I had to reload my save state so many times to get it right. Particularly the final section you're gonna see. This first part was not really that bad. It was just like, it was just kind of patterns like this going left, right, left, right. So this was not that bad. The second section I kind of do a little bit poorly on and that kind of messed me up for section three. You'll see in a little bit. But this part was not that bad. Okay, we're on section two now, 140 rings. You're gonna see I do pretty poor here. I miss a lot of the rings, particularly like at the end of the section, you're gonna see. Like here, I miss a lot of these rings, and also I'm not really good at doing this, I'm not really good at like going upside down and stuff, I just miss a lot of the rings. Tails. He gets hit a lot because he's, he's delayed. And I'm five rings above the requirement. Now this section, I had to reload so many times. I had to get it exactly perfect. If I fuck up once, then I couldn't get it. I had to redo it so many times just to get it right. It's just unbelievable. I had to reload it like 30 times at least, just to be able to get 220. So, it shouldn't really be that hard, but I really did have a problem with it. If Tails had more than two rings there, I would have, I would have been screwed. The Chaos Emerald is the only emerald that's green. So we're almost at the boss now. I just go back and get a couple of rings here because the rule of thumb I would definitely say always get rings before the boss no matter how easy it is. And this boss, I don't really know if I would consider him that hard. I'm just really bad at him. I don't really know why, I just really, really suck at it. I really, 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 really don't recommend using the flippers here. What I would recommend is just spin dashing on the sides of the walls and trying to hit them. But I just do really, really bad at this. I don't really know why, I'm just really bad at it. But eventually... I kick his ass. It's right here, actually. Yeah. Kicked his ass, finally. I wouldn't really consider it that hard, but I really suck at it. Anyway, that was Casino Night Zone. I will see you in Zone 5, Hilltop Zone. <laughs>